so in this video we will be replacing uh, we will be removing that alert box and replacing it with something called snack bar so the problem with alert box is that uh, let's add some um, new uh, department when I click on add department you can see this alert box so you have to mandatorily take action on the alert box and unless and until you click on ok the other things will not load right so this is bit uh, no, uh, not user friendly so we're gonna replace this alert box with something called as snack bar so it is available in um, material UI <coughs> so we will have to install this material UI which is framework for uh, react.js so let's click on the components and I will just show you the demo of what the snack bar is I was not able to find the similar kind of thing in uh, react Bootstrap. Right? If, if, if I find out I will just make another video out of it so this is the snack bar which we are going to use so I will click on open simple snack bar and you can see this this will be auto closed after a few seconds so we're going to use that instead of alert box so let me just click on getting started and installation so we have to install it with this command okay. let's not worry about other things uh, let's in only install this thing so let me stop the server and paste the code click on enter so that material UI gets installed okay the material UI is now installed let us restart the server and start adding the code so the first thing that we will do is so we have to implement this in department model let's import snack bar from snack from material UI core slash snack bar okay next import icon button from material UI core slash icon button fine we're gonna define some states so I'll write this dot and 
handle submit there's one more thing that we are supposed to write which I forgot so you have to write uh, you have to bind this method handle submit equal to this dot handle submit dot bind this okay now let me define the state for uh, the opening and closing of the snack bar and also the configuration of snack bar message so I'll let this dot state equal to snack bar open so this will indicate whether the snack bar should be open or false by default it will be false which means it should be closed now I'll define one more variable called snack bar message here we can configure the message that we want to provide for the snack bar let me also add a function snack bar close snack bar close equal to event so we'll write this dot so let this dot set state and uh, snack bar open snack bar open will be false okay now let's start adding the code to show the snack bar so the first thing that we want to do is we'll move the div we want to add one more component right so we can, we should keep everything inside the div and uh, move the div outside so in between the div we'll add the snack bar as well so We'll write snack bar snack bar anchor origin so anchor origin equal to okay it should be vertical we'll show it in the center and uh, horizontal position will also be center and then next we have uh, open so it will open based on the value inside this dot state dot snack bar open so we have defined the variable right snack bar open so based on this value it will be either show or it will close and we have something called auto height duration so auto height duration is the time it needs to auto close and if you want to manually close we have to execute this function this dot snack bar close okay and then message should come from the snack bar message so we'll write span id equal to message id okay so the value will be this dot state dot snack bar message okay and then let's have an icon that cross icon so that we can close the um, snack bar manually as well so here action equal to let's have an icon button
okay so the icon button sorry so the icon button will simply have X symbol okay so the key will be close area label equal to close color equal to inherit and on click equal to this dot snack bar close that's it let's see if we have any errors snack bar is not defined okay snack bar it should be snack bar from snack bar spelling mistake okay let's see if we have any errors nope so we have a warning which says uh, vertical value center fine let's check that um, I think we are not supposed to use center here but let's see if that works or not um, since it's a warning so what by what I configured here I want to show it on the center of the screen uh, the snack bar message so where was that so this vertical and horizontal it's supposed to be um, bottom or left or bottom or top right so let's see what happens uh, I'll click on I'll write some support one two three and I'll click on add department it's still we are showing the alert box we have to make some changes to this where we are calling the API so we'll comment this out and we'll also comment this out let's add the snack bar message here so this dot set state snack bar open to true and snack bar message to the result okay and uh, let's copy the same thing and paste in here as well snack bar open to true is a snack bar message will be this time failed okay now let's see so I'll click on add department so dev one two three four add department so you can see the snack bar okay it is auto closing I'll do five six and uh, click on add department so you can see here added successfully you can manually close or you can it will close automatically okay you can manually close or you can close it or it closes automatically so that was about the snack bar